Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Critics Talk. Today, we're going to deep dive into... Otaku Elf Episode 1. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and hit subscribe. And before we forget, could you please go over that like button or subscribe and uh, yeah? Or even share this video. Thank you so much. Since we're now here, let's get to the nitty gritty of this one. Race! Umpisa, umpisa pa lang ng, ng, ng pilot na to. You can, you now have a clear picture of how this anime is going to run. Thanks to the pacing. Uh, slice of life ish with, with, uh, with a fair amount of comic moments. Oh, hindi na mawawala sa isang slice of life anime yun eh. Okay? Expect the comic moments. But, if it weren't for um, the slice of life ish pacing, hindi natin makikita agad yung dynamic between these two. The, the Elda, the, the otaku elf herself, and si Koito, yung kanyang Miko, or um, Guardian. Do I have complaints, guys? Absolutely not. Kagil, um, the, uh, the pacing instantly told me that, yup, this is a slice of life anime. No naman. First gear shift was when Koito asked Elda why she doesn't go out. Siyempre, kwento, kwento kumating ka po na si, si Elda. But it did not result in a backstory sequence. Yun ang, ang agandaan dito. But why did I call this a gear shift? <clears throat> well, sa pagkakakwento ni, ni Elda, uh, this happened 60 years ago. If you would deep dive into that even more, the anime industry actually started 60 years ago. More than 60 years ago, actually. So, you can now say na yung pagiging otako ni Elda eh, it's as old as the anime industry itself. Yeah, you... Go figure. Second gear shift was when Elda found Koito in that park. Pero bakit ko tinawag na gear shift to? It just goes to show you na itong lady in white na hinahanap na <clears throat> hinahanap ni Koito for quite some quite some time na dito ba na baka mag-idea na kayo eh. And pinakita rin dito ni Elda na hindi na siya familiar sa 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 bagong Tokyo final gear shift was when Elta spilled the beans on who the way the lady in white is siya mismo <laughs> no brainer of a gear shift right there folks kasi um this dynamic has been 10 years in the making na pala so these three gear shifts that I saw guys bitin you will totally miss out on the comic moments of this pilot if you just watch these three gear shifts. Eh, ito nga yung... Eh, two of these... Uh, ane, all three of these gear shifts triggered comic moments. So why uh, miss out on most of the episode? Pilot eh. Come on, guys. Para magkaroon na, para magkaroon na kayo ng idea kung paano tatakbo ang anime na to. That's what pilot episodes do. Kaya, watch the whole pilot. But wise. <clears throat> Meron mga flashback sequences, pero super ikli eh. Flashes of memory lang talaga ni, ni Koito. And, yung, uh, the final one was, you couldn't consider that a flashback sequence. It's more of an explainer. <laughs> Kasi, Si, si Elda na mismo nagkikwento eh. Therefore, Malinis ang plot, guys. Totally clean plot. Right? Hmm. Need I say more? Ideally, 
pilot episode should have clean plots. Pero in the case of Hell's Paradise, eh, medyo, kailangan, medyo kailangan talaga ng backstory sequence doon kasi um, we really need to know the psyche of the main pro tag there. Pero dito, wala eh. The flashback sequences are totally uh, what's called this? are totally negligible. And the explainer sequence, yeah. Kung hindi ka sana yung manood ng anime, mapagkakamanan yung backstory ito. Pero, it's an explainer sequence. So, base, flow, and plot. So, yan. They all came together for this episode, folks. Well, to tell you the truth, I really enjoyed reviewing this pilot. So, Otaku Elf, episode 1. No-brainer, guys. Two thumbs up. Okay. Last order of business, the thumbnail. Ito yung first funny moment dito sa, sa episode na to. Alright? Imagine a 600 plus year old elf craving for Red Bull. One of the strong... Not the strongest energy drink on the market right now. Ay lang yan. Gusto mo dalawang Red Bull yata ang, 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 ang gusto pa niyang tirahin. <laughs> eh... Sa isang Red Bull pala, pwede na kayong kabugin eh. May palpitation pa more. Especially if you have a weak heart. Grabe, dito ko talaga natawa eh. And it quickly gave me an idea of on how this anime is going to run. How this anime storyline is going to, um, uh, is going to, uh, call this, is going to, well, no pun intended, humor me. And just, it just goes to show you how much of an otaku the main, uh, one of the main protags is, the Elda. And she's gonna be, based on this sequence alone, she's going to be one interesting character for, um, for Spring 2023. She will, be one, she will be one of the most interesting characters right now. So guys, hey. And so are you. Right? In the meantime, watch the other reviews on this uh on this new playlist called Volume 11, right? And by the way, happy Easter. <laughs>